everybody. It's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. I have a used 8x8 eight eight little canvas here today that I had done a pour on and I, I really didn't like it. So I thought, let's do a, let's do something different to this canvas. And I thought, what haven't I done yet? And I haven't done a strainer pour. So that's what I'm going to work on today. And what I've done is just put down my base coat of Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and put a little bit on the sides. And I'm just going to put a little bit in the corner, each corner here, to uh, help this paint flow. Spread it out a little bit here. I think I bought this strainer at the dollar store, so it's very inexpensive. My colors today, I have just some black uh, Artist Loft uh, Flow Acrylic. I have Liquitex Deep Violet. I have Liquitex Elzerian Crimson Hue. basics and what I did for the last color is I mixed some artist loft titanium white with some it's just called craft deco art crafters burgundy rose I mixed those two together to make this this lighter color here consistency today it doesn't even really leave a mound Let's get started. First, I'll put a layer of the black down. These are fun to do. Next, the Alzerian Crimson. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not the Alzerian Crimson. This is actually the um, the deep violet. I'm sorry, deep violet today. And this is the uh, Elzerian crimson hue. I do not have any silicone in my paints today, just straight paint. And then I'll put another little layer of black. I don't need a whole lot of paint for this little painting and I am going to stretch it around on the canvas. So maybe two layers of each of the colors would work out good. Never used this color combination before, so we're going to discover together how it worked out. Okay, that should do it. I'm running off the side here. I'll just tip that up a little bit, bring it back, let it let the strainer do its job and Drain out the rest of the paint. And you can help it along at the end. Oh. 
Okay. I am going to torch this. Again, I did not add any silicone, but I did use Floetrol. Today my uh, medium was 50% paint, 50% Floetrol, and then to thin it out a little bit, I used the combination of water, 90% and 10% Floetrol until I got my desired consistency. And that's usually my go-to medium. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit now. Maybe bring it back into the middle. Get my corners. Looks like I'm going to lose most of that violet. Bringing it back down into the middle again here. And I'll get the last corner here. try and save a little bit of that violet there at least bring it back to the middle I'm gonna work on my corners here a little bit cover those corners up We'll take a look at it now. I'm going to torch it again. Some little cells coming up there, especially in the middle in this area. don't like is this in the middle the just that black blob so what I think I'll do is use my skewer and I'm just gonna help this out a little bit and see if I can make it look a little more interesting and blend it in a little more Something like that. And then I'm going to do a little bit more stretch on that. See what we can get out of it. I love that Elzerian crimson hue color. Beautiful. And that color that I made up seems to complement that really well. This kind of reminds me of Valentine's colors. I'm going to help it out just a little more here. a little bit more tipping
give it some wispies here. I like that composition where it's right in the middle there, pretty much right in the middle. I'm gonna take my tool and clean off the bottom here. more torch to see if I'll get any more air bubbles up. Some really, really pretty little cells here. What do you think? I think I like this color combination just fine. I'll bring it up for a close-up. There's the middle. See the edges, corners. You can see some of those little cells in there. So pretty. Okay, let me know what you think. Please leave comments or questions and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so you can know the next time I load a new video. And until next time, this is Deb saying bye for now.